Hello everybody. Welcome to Spookathon, day one. You're joining me, you're inside my bookcase because this just works. The kids are all set for school. They're watching some TV this morning. Um, I made some coffee in one of my favorite cups uh, because it is all like 33 degrees outside right now and that's just a little cold. And I like, I mean, I can handle it. It's not like I'm, I can't, but it, it's cold. It's coffee cold. So I wanted to chat about my spookathon plans for today. Um, I'm going to start out with The Night Sister by Jennifer McMahon and I maybe, maybe started it a little bit yesterday because I didn't have anything that I was currently reading. I didn't want to start anything new and then jump into spookathon. So I'm like, well, I might as well pick it up a little early. So I did start it. Um, and it is definitely like, I am perplexed. I am just perplexed as to what the heck is going on. We kind of have three timelines that we're following. So we're following the 1950s with Amy, Rose, and Sylvia. Yes. And what happened to kind of start things off at this tower motel and then we have the 1980s where we have Piper and Margot. No, not Amy. So Rose and Sylvia were 1950s. Amy, Margot, and Piper are 1980s and then like present day which is like 2013 or something. Um, so we're learning about what happened with Rose and Sylvia at the tower motel when this whole kind of mysterious thing kicked off. And then what Amy, Piper, and Margot found in the 80s that kind of rekindled it, or I don't know if I want to say awakened it, or like started the mystery again. And then present day when something else happened. So it is definitely creepy. There's something paranormal happening. I don't know if it's a ghost or a demon or a monster. But something creepy is happening. So... It's really good so far. So after that, I think I may pick up the Nickel Boys just because I think I could really fly through this pretty quick and I need to read it by the beginning of November. Um, and then I don't know which one I'll go from there. So I might try to find an audio today. So I have the seller that I still need to get through, of course, our Hocus Pocus book, and then Jar of Hearts. So I might try to search out an audiobook today for at least one of those and that definitely helped me a lot so that's my plan I'm gonna go take an Instagram picture post that and then get on to work and we'll go from there so happy reading we'll check in with you later hey everybody and welcome to the end of day one of Spookathon didn't do a whole lot of filming today but it was kind of a boring day we just did well, I went to work, Matt went to work, kids went to school. And then afterwards, we had to take two of them to get new shoes. So I didn't think you really wanted me to film that because, you know, shopping for shoes with the kids is so fun. And then came home and had some dinner. And now we're just kind of sitting on the couch waiting for the Packer game to start. I feel like every time I do a readathon, there's a game on figure that out but I did I have made some really good progress in the night sister I am gosh I'm pushing almost gotta be close to 200 I'm on page 188 so I'm hoping to get like 225 would be awesome um, it all depends on how the game goes if it gets if it's good I'm gonna watch it if it starts to get not so great I'll probably just turn it off and read um, but this is definitely creepy. This is a like monster paranormal kind of creepy. I do appreciate how Jennifer is. I think I told you this. I have like three timelines I'm dealing with. So I have present day, which is like 2016 and 2013, something like that. I have the 1980s and I have the 1950s. Max, please don't do that right now, buddy. Um, so the girls are discovering some things in the 1980s that will tie to the next part, which is in like 
2016 and then it'll tie back to the 1950s. So I kind of like how they're uncovering some part of the mystery or unraveling the mystery kind of together within the timeline. So I feel like I get confused because there's one part I stopped it at a weird spot. So when I came home and was reading a little bit, I had to flip back just a little bit to pay closer attention to dates, which I don't always, I'm totally guilty in the way that sometimes I glance over dates, especially on like letters and diary entries. Sometimes I don't need to know them, and in this case, I do have to pay attention to dates. So, it's good. It's very good. There is some sort of big secret that's... <sighs> We're getting closer, but game is going to start. There's Mr. Aaron Rodgers. Um, so, I'm at least going to watch kickoff. And kids are watching Jurassic World right now. I don't know how long that'll last. They'll go to bed in the next like half an hour or so, so it's not a big deal. But yeah, quiet night at home, reading my book, and we'll go from there. So I will check in with you sometime tomorrow, and see you then. Hello, friends. So we are at day two of Spookathon. This is a spooky lighting angle. Oh well. Um, making dinner, so I thought I'd pop on. As I'm waiting, I've got bacon sizzling because we're going for breakfast for dinner, which I swear I did the last vlog that I did. So I feel like I'm repeating a lot of things from Contemporary Thon, but um, I will be finishing this tonight. I have about 40 pages left, and it is phenomenal right now. It could still take a weird spin, so I'm not totally sure. I'm not going to like wholeheartedly say this is my next favorite thriller or anything yet but um, when I was at lunch today I you know I always look ahead and I see how many pages are in the next chapter and I'm like oh it's only like two and a half pages I can read that quick before I go back to my desk and so I read it and I get to the end of the chapter which at the end of this chapter it says of course I'm sure silly girl I'm the one who killed her and then I had to go back to work what like Whoa, ultimate cliffhanger. And I only have this much left. Crazy. But I'm really liking it. I'm loving this, like, paranormal aspect to it. I got mega, mega goosebumps last night from this book. Guess who's here? Here he is. Like, mega goosebumps from this book last night to the point where I, like, threw it at Matt and told him he needed to keep the book on his side of the room because it was that creepy. It was that creepy just this one specific part yeah literally goosebumps and all all the creepy feels so it's fantastic it is definitely adding to my goal of like scaring the crap out of myself in October because that many times that I have to stop reading when I could have kept reading and it was that good so yeah all the feels so then I have to figure out what I'm gonna read next so I might do a little try a chapter tonight between Jar of Hearts, The Cellar, and maybe Hocus Pocus. Nickel Boys isn't as urgent because I don't have to have that read till like the beginning of November. So I still have some cushion in there. So I don't know. Oh, but I still have to read my other. Oh, maybe. I don't know. Maybe we'll do a try a chapter tonight and see which one I want to pick up next. I haven't gotten to an audiobook yet because I'm still on what Sarah would call a Hamilton High from seeing Hamilton this last weekend. So I don't know if an audio is going to happen because I just want to sing along to that the entire time. So I don't know. But so far it's day two. I'm almost done with the first book. I'm happy with that. I will take it. So I'm going to go flip the bacon and keep working on dinner and I'll check in with you later. So what is it about bacon that makes it so glorious? I don't know. Listen to that. Yum yum. Okay, so I've finished it. It's done. Day two and I have an entire book done. What? Who am I? It's crazy. Um, I think I'm going to go with four stars for this. 
definitely creepy. Way creepy. Um, but the believable factor, eh, I just went with it. But I can see that people might not like it. But overall, creepy and literally gave me goosebumps. Like I had to stop reading it last night. And that just deserves high marks for sure. For sure. So very atmospheric. A lot of twists and turns. I thought I would get confused because there was three timelines I had to follow. But really only seven main characters, which seems like a lot, but it's not. Like, it was fine. I thought I was, like I said, I couldn't get confused, but it seemed like once you kind of unveil the question, it would go through the timelines to kind of answer that and, of course, lead you to more questions. Um, so I really liked how she did that. I liked, I like her writing. I have her book, The Winter People, sitting on my shelf over there. Definitely gonna have to pick that up this winter because I really did like her. This is my first Jennifer McMahon book, so I will read more of hers for sure, but four stars all around. So then I was looking at my pile, which I have back there, and I was gonna, was gonna do like a try chapter thing tonight, um, but it's a little late. Well, late for me, I'm exhausted today, so. I don't know how much more reading I was going to do, but um, throughout the day, actually since I started really looking at my TBR pile and since I posted my first post on Instagram, was that yesterday, Sunday, whatever day it was, um, the amount of people reading Jar of Hearts is kind of crazy. So I was recommended this book by my friend Lindsay, she, like high marks from her, so if she really liked it, I know I'm gonna love it. My other friend Jessica's reading it right now. Somebody else I know has picked up Jar of Hearts. The Instagram follow, like I see it all over the place. So I'm gonna kind of let social media um, determine this next pick, and I am gonna start with Jar of Hearts. The other kind of plus, I'm not gonna lie that this was maybe part of the reason I'm picking up is it's like 310 pages. It's fairly short. So we're gonna go with this Gen Jar of Hearts by Jennifer Hiller. Hey everyone, happy Wednesday, October 16th. It's Boss's Day. Uh, so I just picked up some donuts and I was going to try to film, you know, something in the store, but apparently everybody is wanting to bring donuts to work today because there was a lot of people. And I don't know if you've heard of the term like Midwest nice, but I live in the Midwest and we tend to be like too overly nice to everybody and <laughs> everyone was like nobody was really wanting to like go get their their donuts because like you'd be going in front of somebody and that might be rude and I'm like all right let's quit playing this dance let's all get our donuts and get the hell out of here <laughs> like oh it's just it was funny to me probably not to everybody else um, it is also an anniversary for my husband and I. We started dating 19 years ago today. We've known each other longer because we went to high school together, but um, he slammed my locker door shut for four years, almost every day. I thought he was just being an ass. Apparently that's how he flirts. <laughs> but um, we did not start dating in high school. We started dating after. So. Um, I wouldn't call us high school sweethearts, but anyways, we started dating 19 years ago today, which seems really like a long time. It's crazy. Um, our, our first date, we went to a haunted house. So I always joke that I got so scared, I grabbed onto him and I have yet to let him go. So I know it's corny, but anyways, it's kind of a little day for us and we'll get to see each other for probably all of five minutes today so <laughs> right it's fine but I did start jar of hearts last night I'm probably 25 30 ish pages into it um, definitely gonna be a little bit different from what I've been the last couple reads that I've had which is good um, 
I'm not really sure where it's going though because I feel like I already know a lot. So I'm like, where can this possibly be going? I don't know. Oh, sweet. They're working on our river walk. I'm so excited for that. Um, so yeah, I'm excited to keep going in the book today. I just got The Whisper Man on audio through the library. I know. So that might be enough to get me off of my little Hamilton high that I'm on and getting back into an audiobook. So we're going to start that today and see how it goes. Um, but that's the plan. So I will take you with me when I can. We do have a little bit of a busy night. Um, Emily has strings. She's playing the violin. I have to get Max's haircut and Riley has basketball. But we'll fit some reading in there. It'll happen. All right, I will check in with you guys soon. Happy Friday, good morning. I'm on my way to work. And I remembered that I completely forgot to do a check-in yesterday. Oops. Um, so, anyways, yesterday was a little bit of a crazy day. Um, we had our family pictures. I will insert a little sneak peek here. Um, so we had that. We had to do some errands that night. So it was just, it was one of those days. I didn't get a chance to check in. But way into it, I would like to have been a little further, but it's okay. Um, but I really like it so far. I've definitely gotten sucked into it. There is, there's this air of mystery to it that is like... I don't know how to describe it, but it's creating this atmosphere of like, what the heck is going on here? Yet I have no theories, which is very rare. Like I usually have something and I'm trying really hard to connect the dots and I'm not figuring it out. So I love that. Um, and try not to give too much away, but yeah, I just, uh, I don't know. I don't know. And there's certain characters that are introduced and I'm trying to figure out like is this going to come back around and be more of a connection is it not I don't see how it can at this point but I don't know I'm keeping keeping my eyes open but it should be good um to let's see I'm super happy it's Friday today tonight we are taking all of the kids to a haunted hayride um this is one that like I went to as a kid with like my 4-H group so it's not super scary um, but I'm trying to figure out if I take my six-year-old he is very excited about it and the more I keep talking about it he's like oh yeah well I know mom they're just actors they're not real they can't touch me and I'm like okay so I'm prepared for a long night tonight in case it doesn't go quite as well, but I think they'll have fun. If anything, of the three kids, I'm gonna place money on the oldest one and the youngest one ending up in bed with me. I think my, I think my middle child, Emily, will be fine. I think it's my oldest and youngest that I gotta worry about. So, anyways, that's the plan for tonight. And then tomorrow we have soccer, so I'll take you with me. And that's kind of it. We don't have a whole lot of other plans this weekend, so. Hoping to get through a good chunk of jar of hearts today, finish it up, and then start my third, which would be really, really great. I'd be happy with that. Um, I think I need to pick up Nickel Boys next, just for book club reasons. Although maybe I'd be able to speed through the cellar really quick before I would have to pick up Nickel Boys. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see where we're at. Or the Hocus Pocus, because that's really only half the book I need to read. Because we've only watched the movie about 27 times so far this month. I swear it gets turned on every day, so which is fun. But um, yeah, happy Friday morning. I am staring at a glorious sunrise. It is so pretty. We've had some really beautiful ones lately. just so beautiful like I'm super excited for pictures 
like to see what they turned out in because it's where we went was just gorgeous so um, this is by far my favorite season I I don't know I love crisp mornings and cool days and sunshine so anyways I will check in with you later maybe bring you on the hayride with us a little bit and keep you up to date better today I'm hoping um, we'll check in soon Okay, so we are at Friday afternoon. Um, it is glorious outside today, like just glorious. So I'm, um, I have some time to spare. I like my little witch back there. I have some time to spare before we go to the hayride tonight. So I thought I would come outside and read some more of Jar of Hearts. Just take my notes off of that. Read some more Jar of Hearts. I got to a part at lunch today that like legit gave me goosebumps. Major goosebumps. So, and I still don't know where this is going. Like, like what? It's just crazy. So, <clears throat> I'm gonna read some more. But I did take some time to go for a walk today, which I'll kind of show you kind of how, I don't know, our fall colors, it's beautiful here. And then, ran to Walmart, did some errands, all that fun stuff, so, but I do have time. Hopefully my children maybe don't find me for a little bit um, and I can get some good reading done, so I will update you when I can. Good morning, happy Saturday. I've got my favorite Halloween -y cup, and here comes Stormy every time. How does he know? Here he is. Um, so I didn't get quite as much read yesterday as I wanted to. I am up to about 200 pages into Jar of Hearts, so I have about 100 left. Um, should be able to get that done today. We have a few things going on. Um, my friend and my mom and I are going to go to a craft fair this morning. Um, and then Riley has a soccer game, but then I we have nothing else after that. So I should be able to punch out a hundred pages. Um, last night we did end up going to the Haunted Hayride, which was, it was fun. So out of the three kids, we got like one and a half likes. <laughs> so, um, Max is not a fan, which I didn't think he would be. Although as we're kind of talking about it afterwards, we went and got ice cream, of course, afterwards. And, um, he was kind of coming around to seeing how it was just fun. You know, um, Emily loved it and Riley was not so much a fan during it, but then afterwards she was like, okay, that was pretty cool. So we had some fun with that. Um, and then, yeah, just kind of came home, cleaned things up, got kids to bed and I was out, I was done for the day. So I was, I don't know, I was feeling weird yesterday. So um, kind of wanted to read more last night. I just didn't get to it. So, um, I don't know, there's a hundred pages left, you guys. That's not a lot. And there's a lot to still resolve with this. So, I finally got to the part where I understand what exactly happened in the past. But I'm not sure I have all of the information yet. I'm just wondering if we don't know everything yet. Is my only assumption. So, yeah, we're gonna read a little bit while I wait for my mom to come before we go to our craft fair and then come back and go to soccer and all that fun stuff. We do have a little bit of a drive to get to the game today, so maybe I can bring my book and read during that as well. So, I don't know, but that's what we have going on today. It's another really pretty glorious day until this afternoon is supposed to rain. So, again, perfect reading, creepy book type of weather. So, I will check in with you later. And let you know how far I get. Hopefully, we finish this bad boy today. And just like that, Spookathon's over. So, today is Monday. I didn't do a whole lot of reading yesterday, um, it was absolutely glorious outside. So we spent some time outside. Um, 
I did end up um, finishing Jar of Hearts. I did end up starting Nickel Boys. I just didn't have a chance to vlog. I made, I did make some cookies. So we'll insert that here. They're glorious. <laughs> But yeah, we just kind of enjoyed family time yesterday. So uh, yeah, didn't quite get to vlogging, but all in all, Spookathon, I'm gonna say is, this is a success. I finished two full books and started a third. That's pretty decent um, when I have a busy week uh, for me to pull off during a readathon. So uh, just as a recap, I finished The Night Sister by Jennifer McMahon. I think I give this four stars very spooky. Um, I think this was my thriller for that challenge. Um, but super spooky, scary, or like, I don't know, what was the buzzword? Like the Halloween scary word or whatever, maybe night. Definitely works for that. Scary setting because this takes place in a, um, like rundown old motel that has this old tower in it. It's super spooky. So, fulfills a couple of the the prompts or the challenges for Spookathon, but definitely four stars. Um, if you want a spooky book with some paranormal in it, this one's definitely for you. Uh, the other book I finished during the readathon was Jar of Hearts by Jennifer Hillier. Um, this one would be for the book with red on the cover. I think that works. Uh, this one follows kind of a serial killer and... Um, this girl that kind of dated him at one point in time and what happens with them. I, th yeah, this book packs a punch for how short it is. There's a lot in here. I don't want to give anything away. Um, so I'm not going to say much more other than it was a wild ride. Definitely wild ride. Um, both of these books have dual time perspectives. Actually, the um, Night Sister has like three different time periods you're working with, um, but she does it in such a way it's really easy to follow. This one's got dual time perspectives. So what happened in the past and then what's happening in the present. And then I did pick up The Nickel Boys by Colson Whitehead. This, again, book with red on the cover. Not really a thriller, but kind of is a historical fiction based on true events that happened around the Nickel School um, that was in Florida um, in the uh, 1960s, I believe. So we just got to a point where our main character um, has just arrived at the Nickel School, which is kind of a school for um, boys, kind of like juvenile detention would be um, for boys who are in trouble. So Elwood has just gotten to, let's see, they call it a juvenile reform reformatory. Academy called the Nickel Academy. Their mission statement says it's physical, intellectual, and moral training so that the delinquent boys in their charge can become honorable and honest men. So he kind of gets wrapped up into something um, and has to go uh, to this academy and you kind of have to work your way out of it. I, he just got there so I don't know much of it but I know that there's some interesting circumstances surrounding this academy for sure so I'm really interested in getting into this more. I should be able to read more today, but I'm about 50 pages into it. It's only a 200 page book, so it should go pretty quick. So, um, all in all, it was a good, probably 600 pages I read this week, which is, I, yeah, that's a success. We had a pretty crazy week this week. So, um, Spookathon all in all was another success because I absolutely got creeped out. Um, there's one point during the the Night Sister, as well as Jar of Hearts, where I literally got goosebumps. The Night Sister, I made Matt keep it on his side of the room one night. Jar of Hearts, I was reading in the lunchroom at one point, and I literally said, oh my gosh, out loud, to the point where um, Ashley, who I work with, was like, um, what are you reading? Because I need to write it down, if that's the reaction you're getting. So I'm loving it. It was great. I, of course, love Spookathon. I highly encourage you to participate if you don't already. If you have and have a vlog up, leave a link below. I'll check you out. Absolutely. Otherwise, comment, 
like, subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.